guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm getting ready to head to Norman. Uh, my band's got a show tonight, so figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Okay, well, we got the uh, truck bed full of drums and our stage risers and some uh, drum hardware, all that good stuff. All right, I think I got everything. Buckle up for safety every time. Click it or tick it, that's what they say. At least in Oklahoma, that's what they say. This backup camera is like really handy. Like I said, I'm on my way to Norman. Um, we have a show at a venue called Earth Rebirth. So I kind of figured I'd do something different with this vlog. It's kind of funny, I actually, I've started this same video. This will be the fourth time I've started it. But it just doesn't seem to work out. I want to do this introduction on my way to actually doing something else. And uh, the first three times I've tried to do this, well, okay. The first two times I tried it with my phone. Uh, I have a phone mount. Uh, to use for my tuner for my truck so I had it in that and it was just too shaky and um, the lighting was kind of harsh you know we've got a show um, in Norman we're gonna be playing through our set at our practice space first and then going over to the show so I figured this is the perfect time to to do this introduction so without further ado my name is Sean, obviously. Um, I got really creative with my YouTube channel uh, name, so it's just my name. Um, yeah, I, I just started vlogging. Um, the only three, there are four videos, but one, the first one's a part one and part two because it would have been insanely long if it had been a single video. So um, I've got four videos up, which is three episodes. And uh, those videos are uh, when I went on Labor Day weekend, I went to Colorado with some friends and we rode four wheelers in the mountains and um, got into some other shenanigans. So if you haven't seen those, you should check them out. But the reason I wanted to do this is because, you know, when I started out, my videos were only being viewed by like family and friends. And I've noticed lately I've gotten more traffic from people I don't know. So like, well, why don't I just uh, do an introduction and, uh, you know, so everybody knows a little bit more about me. Um, so I do the four-wheeling thing, um, and I'm in a band, so, uh, you know, we've got a show tonight. Um, my band is called Crazy Love Hawk. Uh, it's a movie reference. If you've ever seen the animated movie Rio, then you'll understand the reference. But if not, here's a clip. Confidence. <sighs> Crazy love hawk. All right. Whoa, hi. What are you doing? Anyway. Um, yeah, we're goofy. We're nerds. Uh, all of our albums are theme albums. We wrote our first album about Disney movies and, like, a couple other animated movies that aren't Disney. But they still have that same vibe. Um, our second album, which was an EP... Uh, we did a video game theme because we're all gamers and we're all gaming nerds. So we did that. Um, in our newest album, which just came out recently, it's only been a couple months, um, it's called Madlands. Sort of a play on words, but it's uh, that album is a tribute to Tim Burton. So all the songs on that album have to do with Tim Burton in some way. Um, like. Uh, movies he's worked on in some form or fashion. Um, highlights as far as some of the movies that are on there that you'll recognize. We've got Nightmare Before Christmas, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, we've got Beetlejuice, um, Corpse Bride, let's see, um, Sleepy Hollow. So it's very, uh, it's very appropriate that this is October playing this Halloween show because a lot of our songs we play now um, 
have a Halloween feel to them. So, um, as far as the sound, I mean, it's difficult for me to describe and it's difficult for a lot of people to describe our sound. Um, shout out to Turbo from Rock 100.5 The Cat. Uh, we did a, an interview with him on the air um, for their radio station and he described our sound as electro prog core so like we have that electronic element we have some synth and electronic effects and like piano strings that kind of thing and then we're progressive just because of like um, some of the patterns we write some of the rhythms and and riffs are uh, like more progressive metal and then the core aspect is you know hardcore we call ourselves progressive metal core um, a lot of people call it gent, uh, but I feel like he gave an accurate description. Electro prog core, um, you know, that's it. Pretty much sums up what we are, what we're about. So, um, the best thing I can tell you though is to go check it out yourself. We have a YouTube channel, so you can just search Crazy Love Hawk, and uh, and you'll find us. Let me talk about my my ride. I am currently driving a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD Duramax. It's got the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine in there. Um, I've got a tuner with uh, PPEI tunes on it. It gets me from A to B, you know. It's lifted a little bit. Got a 5 inch lift on it. So yeah, as far as you know, what I do for a living, I own a recording studio. It's called Intellect Studios. Uh, it's it's a home studio, so I have the our garage is converted into a studio. So um, I re I've recorded a lot of bands over the years. Intellect Studios started in 2011, I want to say, yeah, 2011. So in March of next year, I believe. Cool. Because 
running, um, I'm able to uh, do some welding projects, you know. Um, interestingly though, I'm kind of at a point right now, I have several options. Uh, I've had some job offers um, that are sort of in the same line of what I've been doing, but a little bit of a different direction, if that makes sense. That's a little bit about me. Um, one thing I would like to ask, if you're an avid watcher, subscriber per se, to my vlog, if you would, please let me know in the comments what sort of content you'd like to see from me. I'm since I'm just starting out, I'm not 100% sold on the like the direction I'm taking with my channel um, and my vlog. So I'm open to ideas, uh, things I've been tossing around. You know, I, I do the four wheeler thing. I'm still planning on doing that. A friend of mine wants to go go on a ride soon, but I have to uh, I have to change the jet in my four wheeler um, for Oklahoma because I had it set up for high altitude. So it restricts the fuel a little bit. I need to I need to change the jet um, so I can ride it here. Um, so when I go anywhere with that, I'll probably you know vlog on the way. Um, other things I'm interested in doing are uh, like exploring abandoned buildings or um, just kind of checking out interesting areas in Oklahoma. Um, of course, like I'm doing right now, I'll take you guys along with me when my band stuff going on. Uh, when I have projects in the studio, I've thought about, I've tossed around the idea of, you know, having uh, something going on with that. And then I've also thought about um, maybe using this as an avenue to do like reviews, like restaurant reviews or, you know, things like that. So I'm open to suggestions as far as, hey, you should go to this place and do kind of a review or whatever. Um, because I like to go eat at cool places, and especially like newer places when they come out. Anyway, I'm getting ready to hit some really heavy traffic, so I'm probably going to um, turn this off for now. But uh, I'll pick you guys back up when I get to Norman. Well, we have made it to Norman. Now we just have to find the venue. Um, I've never been to this place, so... I hope it's easy to find. Okay, I'm ready for a green light now. Thank you. See, sometimes you just have to talk to the to the traffic light. I'm about 83, 83.2% convinced that they can hear you. So, that's probably what that's about. Man, I love listening to that turbo whistle, especially with the exhaust I have. Okay, I'm turning right onto Comanche Street. Oh, I see it. Okay. The destination is on your right. Cool, cool. Arrived. Here's the next question. Where the heck do we load in? Oh, I wish I could, okay. I'm gonna show you with my phone camera, but I just pulled up to this place and it has a sign on the window that says jury duty this week. Park has a sign on the window. Jury duty this week. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. 